Welcome to day number 22 of our 40 days of power. We've done more in prayer and fasting than we have ahead of us. So thank God for his strength. Thank God for his enablement and the power of the Holy Spirit at work in our lives. As you know, this week we are talking about growing our faith. Faith has to grow. It starts small, but it has to become great. It has to become big. And how do we do that? Second Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 7. But also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. To virtue, knowledge. To knowledge, self-control. To self-control, perseverance. To perseverance, godliness. To godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, love. There are about seven things that the scriptures tell us to add to our faith. And if you want to know how faith grows, this is it. So, so faith doesn't stand on its own. Faith grows as other things are added to it, as it is complemented by these other things. The first is virtue. Virtue basically is moral character. In other words, you can say, oh, I pray, I'm believing God, I'm fasting, but you're living immoral, there's no virtue, you're lying and you're cheating and you're destroying people, and you're gossiping and you're backbiting. There's no virtue. So your faith, having no addition to it, it's going to be a weak faith. Then it says, add knowledge to your faith, knowledge of God, knowledge of the word of God, knowledge of the promises of God. Know what God says, read the Bible. So as we fast and pray, we are applying virtue to our lives. We are applying knowledge to our faith and we are ensuring that we're staying in the word of God and grounding our faith in the word of God. And self-control, moderation, staying in a life that is moderated, not excessive, you know, because, you know, the Bible teaches against excessiveness, excessive uh, eating, excessive talking, excessive. We have to be self-controlled. We don't react with anger. We don't react against people harshly. We don't become so bitter that we lose our self-control. We are no longer in charge of our faculties. We are now driven by hatred or by some other force. So self-control is important. If you're going to operate by faith, then you have to have self-control. And perseverance. Perseverance is the ability to move on in the face of obstacles and trials and temptations and delays and all of that. We keep going. So faith needs all of these. It needs virtue. It needs knowledge. It needs self-control. It needs perseverance, it needs godliness. Godliness is imitating God, the characteristics of God. God is merciful, so we are merciful. God is kind, so we are kind. Godliness is intentionally desiring a life that is close to the attributes of God. So when we are Christians, although we are human beings and we are limited as human beings, we seek to be godly. We seek to live the life of God. And then to godliness, we add brotherly kindness. That is just being kind, being courteous with people, being, being merciful, uh, showing uh, charity, be, being generous in the way we deal with people. And that's something we must add to add to our faith. We can walk in faith and be very mean-spirited and very unforgiving and always trying to destroy people. And then we add love. Faith works by love. So you want to grow your faith? That's the prescription. These are the things we add to our faith so that our faith becomes strong and we are able to receive all the things that God has for us. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, Thank you for the faith you have given me. Help me to grow stronger in faith each day. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.